All right, so we're going over someone who we're going over. Those of you in Twitch chat and those amazing people later on on YouTube. Hello, Cosmic Nana. Uh, not gonna tell you. We're gonna see if you can guess who we're going to be we're going over. Uh, so, player A opens up on the three four po or frack. Wow, this is gonna be a great review. Opens up on a four four point. Thank you very much. Not the three four point. You can tell it's a four four point by the fact that it's on the freaking star point. That's usually a dead giveaway for people who actually aren't stupid. But all right. Now here's where the first tell of the game is. It's possible I could pick an amateur game. And if the corner taken was this one, that would be indi that would be a huge indicator that we might be looking at an amateur game. Because pros nowadays tend to take this corner, inviting this other corner to be taken for a diagonal opening, if so interested. But no, this corner is not taken. That one is, in fact. So it looks like maybe I might be going over a pro game at the very least. 3-4 stone, all right. We might be playing orthodox. Might be playing Orthodox, might be playing uh, Mini or Micro Chinese Variation. 3-4 played, denying the Micro or Mini, unless, this is a big, big unless, because we don't see this very often, unless we get like something like this in, into something like that. Like that's, that's possible, that's a possibility trying to make a wall into that kind of a framework. That is certainly playable. We don't see it very often nowadays, but it's, you know, still playable. Obviously, white would be responding to those moves. But all right. Instead of playing high, black plays low. A human move, he secretly had secretly oh for AlphaGo Zero versus AlphaGo Master. Do not worry, man. Don't be disappointed that maybe this might not be AlphaGo game. This is going to be better than an AlphaGo game. Now that I know, it's a bold statement. It's a bold statement. But I will say that I would rather study this game than an AlphaGo game. But all right, black approaches low, and don't you know it? White does the same. Looks like we're having an aggressive game here. Not playing, you know, stupid, weak Draseki in the corner, and then moving to the next corner and playing Draseki there, and moving to a next corner and playing Draseki there. No, they're they're throwing things up. Black continues and decides, all right, all right, all right, I can get complicated too. I can get complicated with the best of them. No problem. Easy peasy. White backs off. So Black gets to go to the driver's seat and decide how? We're going to continue this game. And he continues with a pincer. Not playing something, you know, passive like this and just getting bases and things like that. Like, no, 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 no. We're going to apply pressure. Make sure that black can't keep us low because now that this stone's in place, we have to contemplate the reality that, um, you know, black could easily keep developing a wall here, which would be huge, 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 right? Huge wall spanning the entire board. We humans still have value to walls, unlike certain computer programs that will remain nameless. 
So play diagonal to prevent that. Black follows up. Now we're profiting here in the corner. Putting pressure on the approach stone since it is pin certain. White decides to follow up his move. White decides to follow up his move, actually defending himself, not trying to continue or pressure or play elsewhere. P16 looks fun instead of the kick. P16. Um, ba -bum, bum, ba -bum, bum, bum. Oh, that'd be the cap, wouldn't it? Or is that the attachment? That's the attachment. Uh, you could. It's a different. It's a different sequence. If you attach here, we might see like a split here, because like we can go and like Hane. We can like go and Hane have this like go there, have something like go there, and like come back there. So we can kind of get like a bit of a base here. Unless, 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 you know, we attach, we get split, and then we, like, follow up, and then our opponent also follows up with, like, a base of his own. And even then, there's, like, other, there's, like, more Aji, like, on the side that we can do. So that's the thing. So gotta be careful, gotta be careful. The attachment uh, leaves like more Aji there. This, at least we know what we're getting from it so far. We're getting solid pointos. Immediately we're getting solid points. Kind of denying options for a base, it's all good. Black moves up to that there fourth line. White says, I go under your stone, sir. Now we could go here and split. Only problem there is we're going to poke, probably get responded to, come on out. Have our opponent like fall back and then maybe do some kind of cap on him. And then the game is going to get as messy as the stone placement. So that, that could get messy. That could get messy really quickly. So instead of that, we play nice, simple, and clean surrounding the group. White connects. White connects. Now black plays a move that's a little bit weird. Many things we could do over here. Did not expect the attachment. I mean, it's pretty straightforward though. I mean, we have Hane into Hane into Atari. Into connection and connection. Extend since black didn't take. And that's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward sequence. But it's also a very, it's, it's a very, um, deliberate sequence. I'm trying not to give too much away. 
But I'm going to ask a question to you. What is the difference between playing this and going in the corner and taking the one stone for black? What, 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 are, the, what are the differences there? Anyone know? We had a decision to make. We could have taken the one stone, lived in the corner, but we didn't. What we do instead here is black. We got the outside. Yeah, we got the outside. We're picking up some influence, aren't we? Hmm. Hmm. What an odd, what an interesting decision. Looks like we got some influence here too, didn't we? In exchange for not fighting, we got some influence. White was able to save what he stoned, get what he wanted, and pick up some influence instead. Okay, okay. White fight. Black says, I threaten to keep you low and get more influence. <laughs> Who doesn't think this is Shibano now? That's a good question. That is a good question. The person who's interested in influence seems like it's uh, kind of Shibano, isn't it? Yeah. That is indeed who Black is. Black is Shibano Toromaru. And White is, uh, I want to say, who are you? Koyama Terumi, Professional Six Don. So Seven Don Professional Black, Shibano Toromaru. For seven don for, or for six don professional Koyama Tarumi, who is a bla uh, white. White now says, "You know what? All that they are in flance won't matter because I can take it away from you." Stupid Shibano. All right, decision making time, people. What do we do with that stone? You've got three choices. Choice number one. Choice number two. Choice number three. Which one are we going to do? One, two, three. One, near, right. One, near, right. Shabano doesn't understand. Could. You like the cap? R7. Why why R7? Why R7? Push into our influence. Good direction of play, people. So white gets a base. Now we've totally trashed that influence because Shibano's too stupid to play for territory like a normal person. Stupid Shibano. Gets kicked. <laughs> Just makes white stronger. Stupid Shibano. All right. Now here you've got your choices again. You completely, you could completely flip out and start attacking. Be like, oh my god, I need to kill this group right now. Uh, alternatively, you could not be a Q player and look for larger things to do. We could say, you know what, this is a pretty large. This could be pretty large. Or we could be a professional and say, you know what? Last time I checked, last time I checked, he ignored one of my stones. Jerk. Ignoring me? I'm going to follow up. You ignored my cap. I'm going to follow up. I'm going to put your butt on the second line and you're going to like it. 
Enjoy that second line. Mm mm mm. Ain't it tasty? Ain't it tasty? Okay. So, next question. Are there any other forcing moves? We found one forcing move. Let's see if we can't uh, get a little grubby hands on another one. Any other forcing moves? Why, yes, there is. We can play here, get a complete our base. Put pressure on the one stone. Seems like uh, it's a forcing move. Right? So, all right. Follow up. Technically, that would be my third cam. Well, I guess you're right, second cam. I do have this other cam over there. I just don't want to deal with green screening it. I think to do that, I would like need, um, I don't know, like a clip-on microphone or something. Because I've got like a stack of stuff right next to me that's holding up my microphone that would be in the shot. So yeah, I don't know. But all right. White says, I put pressure on your stone. But we are connoisseurs of Jaseki. We know the Aji that's left behind in a position like this, right? We know that this stone right here cannot be killed in just one extra move. So we play here. Splits. All right, which side are you going to cut on? Answer. Neither. That means we get a more of a base. There we go with that. Gets a wall for white, a little bit. But we are settling here, it looks like. And therein lies the difficulty with playing this move. The follow-up to this diagonal is as advertised that lean. And the problem with that lean is as advertised, we can still get a base. Right? We can still get a base. So it's hard to follow up severely with a diagonal move. Plan B. Extend all the way across the board. But we are Shibano. Normally we would consider securing our territory. Or we would consider kicking and pincering for an attack. Shibano, on the other hand, pincers. Saying, you know what you can do? You can go right into my corner if you so like. I don't mind. It's just a corner. Corners. I think corners are a little bit overrated, sir. Do you really want to do that? And White says, yes. I will always take opportunity to hit a 3-3. Three, three. So says Alpha Go Ian. All right, hitting that three three point, living in that corner. Don't mind me, just taking all your territory. To which Black says, "Help yourself." 
I don't, I don't really mind. Oh, boy, it says you better not mind, because I'm taking all them points away. I think I'll take them in Sente, if you don't mind. You don't mind if it's all Sente, do you? Just taking away all the points in Sente? It's fine, right? It's like, no, help yourself, help yourself, help yourself, help That's fine, you can, you can do that. It's like, okay, okay, okay. Tell you what, while I'm taking away all of your points, do you mind if I just, like, have my stone back? I really, really liked it. I really, really liked that stone. Do, do you mind if I just, like, save it? I mean, you don't, you're not, like, really invested in it yet, are you? That, however, is a line too far. He wants to save it. He has to prove he can save it. Looks like white is proving it quite nicely. Because even though this looks very strange, he was threatening to come out, and he was threatening to go under. So a very nice territorial move that uh, gets that connection on connecting. So what do we do now for our beloved Shibano? You're curious to see how Shabana will attack the right side. How would you attack the right side? P9. Ah, P9, cap. Yep. That is a very, very nice way to attack the right side. Now, from this position, Bear is mentioning that we don't have to kill our opponent. How do we know we don't have to kill our opponent? Well, because this is not a lot of territory. And this is absolutely not a lot of territory. We have some points here for black. Some points here for black. So this isn't a kill or be killed situation. This is a profit situation. White comes out. Black makes heavy. Looking at the cutting point. Again, looking at the cutting point. It's a pretty sexy cutting point, let me tell you. That cutting point's been working out. Table shape. Gotta love table shapes. Rather just connect. Counters by playing the Hane, because now if we push, there's an Atari there. So white has to back off. Black gets to Atari. Threatening a cut with the take. White's shape is now officially destroyed. But here's where things get interesting. Keep in mind, we are trying, uh, wait, what? Oh, shoot, sorry. Sorry. I forgot, I forgot, yeah, 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 there's a, how very clever of you to realize that black did not pass. Yes. Response to that black plate here. I was wondering why I had too many white stones in my hand. Alright, so... Here's where things get interesting. We have options. Option one is to fix this shape point and watch as our opponent just kind of keeps following us across the board and getting stronger. 
right? But we don't want that option because that option sucks. So instead of that, black threatens to surround and damn the Aji. This puts white in a position to figure out how we are not going to be surrounded. To which white's reply to that is to poke and jump out as fast as possible while black follows suit. We diagonal because we're threatening to go through here and surround, which is why black says no. Not going there at all. Because if we fail to notice this one, right, and we played somewhere else, and we allow this to take place, that's dangerous. The entire board now just like flips on its head because there's no way we're going to be able to look after these stones and our cutting points on the right. It's just, it's just not going to work, right? It's just not going to work. Nutler says, I do not see any profit for black yet. I do not think this is a good move. He stupid needs to go back to being Q. It's kind of harsh there, Nutler. It's not going to lie. But we'll, we'll see it. We'll see it. We'll see it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. So he thinks here. White connects. We continue leaning. Okay. Continuing to lean. All right, all right, all right. Continues peeping. We are still very much aware of our shape issue, so we fix our shape. Now here's the thing. Believe it or not, you can see the profit on the board. You can see the profit on the board. Like let's say a mat let's 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 imagine, man, that like our opponent needed to keep running something like this, man. So here's the thing. If these are forcing moves If these are forcing moves while we're forcing that away, believe it or not you're actually seeing the profit. You're seeing walls being made before your very eyes. And remember, we don't need that much. We just needed a little bit, right? We just needed a little bit of profit. And don't you know it? That's exactly what we would have seen here. I mean, white can't go very deep against this. Not without getting cut off. And white would have nothing to contest that new area in the middle. Right? Which is why... Uh, you as well. You. You as well. Which is why... White feels compelled. This is an example of how to study pro games. If you weren't certain where the profit was coming from, remove the stone and put uh, the other player there. How does that change things? And slowly but surely, you start to see the problems once you start realizing what happens when the opponent's move becomes the other players. It's like, oh, okay. So that's what's going on here. So we, we see what white was worried about. 
White's worried about that growing way too big. And sure enough, Black responds because he's still, you know, he's still a little bit interested in that. Respond, respond, respond. Strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. White extends up. In Gote. Giving Sente away to the opponent. That's a problem. Here's the secret a lot of you didn't know. When your group is completely surrounded and you give your give Sente away to your opponent, things start happening. P11, what's P11? P, is P11 the bamboo joint? I can't tell. Either this is a, you're either recommending the bamboo joint or this one. I'm not really sure which. I can't see from over here. Is N11 a vital point? Maybe you're embarrassed. Ooh. <sighs> is it a vital point? Should we all start pointing and laughing at Rebenese? Do we all point and laugh at Rebenese? Of course we don't. And the reason why we don't is because Shibano agrees with you. Shibano says, that is a vital point, stupid. You must protect yourself. So you are quite correct if that is your move. So good job, good job. White tries to defend. Black also defends. With our beloved table shape. Have to save ourselves. Asks for half of his stones. That's a good thing to ask for, half the stones. And now here is the other way in which we know we're looking at uh, pros and not amateurs. Right? Can we kill this group? We don't know. It's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky to figure out if we can kill this group or not. But here's what we do know. We do know there's profit down here. So we're going to take a break from murdering the middle. Oops, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Sorry, we played one extra move first. Strengthen the wall first. My bad, because we're losing Sente. There we go. And now we're going to profit. So these three stones are now hopelessly cut off, and now they're dead. So we picked up our profits, the sure points that we can get for ourselves before worrying about what's going to happen in here. Right? Looks like our three stones are getting cut off. So we connect. Rather than worry about this right now, we're just going to go ahead and connect. Connection. Connection. Cool corner. Very cool corner. Things huge. It is an enormous corner. White picks up his profit as well. Fixing some shape. Don't mind me. Trying to live. White says, or black says, are you really alive? There's some bad Aji here, but that should be okay. 
connects, cuts for a larger corner, but it does mean the turn here is, is sente, right? So we might have an I now. Pokes. We just need one more I, then we're alive. Just need one more I, and we're alive. Poke through. Just need that stupid eye. Where is that stupid eye? See if we get some forcing moves in here. Black says no. Which means we can't get the eye that we need there. Can't get the eye we need there. Can't happen. Right? Because if we Atari, we get Atari'd. If we extend, we get Atari'd. If we play here, we get Atari'd. If we play here, we get Extended on. So there's no I here, there's no connection here, and the one I here is Gote. Which means... Which means White's next move to go away and resign. Because Shibano just done killed someone. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you wind up killing someone uh, at Don level and above. Same basic idea. Though it's hard to see the danger here. White saw that if we don't deny this uh, to our opponent he's going to build a lot there and we're just going to be down on territory so we have to be able to live here and we have to reduce this tried to reduce this couldn't kill it couldn't live with this however black being an amazing professional player took time out to get the shore profit while attacking this group even though it uh, meant white got another move here so white might have been able to find a way to live with this but at least we're picking up the short profit in exchange unfortunately white couldn't and still got killed ripples and pastaroni to white but way to go mr shibano this was the 57th japanese judon preliminaries so that's a pretty good way to begin a preliminary match for the Judon, right? With mass murder on the board? I think that's a great way to start.